Do not seek to follow in the footsteps of the wise, seek what they sought. Learn how to listen as things speak for themselves. Every day is a journey, and the journey itself is home. No matter where your interest lies, you will not be able to accomplish anything unless you bring your deepest devotion to it. Make the universe your companion, always bearing in mind the true nature of things, mountains and rivers, trees and grasses, and humanity, and enjoy the falling blossoms and the scattering leaves. An autumn night, don't think your life didn't matter. Learn the rules, and then forget them. Sitting quietly, doing nothing, spring comes, and the grass grows, by itself. Before enlightenment, chopping wood and carrying water. After enlightenment, chopping wood and carrying water. Learn about a pine tree from a pine tree, and about a bamboo plant from a bamboo plant. A flute with no holes is not a flute. Nothing in the cry of cicadas suggests they are about to die. Every moment of life is the last, every poem is a death poem. Year by year, the monkey's mask reveals the monkey. Go to the object. Leave your subjective preoccupation with yourself. Do not impose yourself on the object. Become one with the object. Plunge deep enough into the object to see something like a hidden glimmering there. Traveler's heart. Never settled long in one place. Like a portable fire. The basis of art is change in the universe. What is important is to keep our mind high in the world of true understanding, and returning to the world of our daily experience to seek therein the truth of beauty. No matter what we may be doing at a given moment, we must not forget that it has a bearing upon our everlasting self which is poetry. When your consciousness has become ripe in true zazen pure like clear water, like a serene mountain lake, not moved by any wind then anything may serve as a medium for realization.